If you're a homeowner over the age of 55, then stop scrolling. Medicaid is a vital health care program that provides medical coverage to low-income individuals and families. For seniors who may require long-term care, understanding Medicaid eligibility is crucial for accessing necessary health care services. One common question that arises is whether a reverse mortgage counts as income for Medicaid eligibility. In this blog, we will delve into the complexities of this topic, exploring the impact of reverse mortgages on Medicaid eligibility, the rules and regulations surrounding it, and the potential implications for seniors seeking Medicaid benefits. Understanding Medicaid Eligibility Medicaid eligibility criteria vary from state to state, but they generally consider an individual's income, assets, and medical needs. To qualify for Medicaid, applicants must meet specific income and asset limits. Income includes any cash received from various sources, such as employment, pensions, social security benefits, and certain types of investments. Assets encompass property, savings accounts, investments, and other valuable possessions. Reverse mortgages and Medicaid eligibility. A reverse mortgage is a loan that allows homeowners aged 62 or older to access their home equity without selling the property. Unlike traditional mortgages, reverse mortgages do not require monthly payments and can provide seniors with additional income or a lump sum. When it comes to Medicaid eligibility, the treatment of reverse mortgages can vary based on specific circumstances and state regulations. Consideration of home equity. In most cases, Medicaid considers the home equity as an exempt asset when determining eligibility. This means that the value of the home itself does not count towards the asset limit. However, when a reverse mortgage is in place, it affects the equity value and can impact Medicaid eligibility. Treatment of reverse mortgage proceeds. The treatment of reverse mortgage proceeds depends on how they are utilized. If the funds from the reverse mortgage are spent or used to pay for living expenses, medical bills, or home modifications related to health and safety, they are generally considered as an exempt resource and do not count towards Medicaid's asset limits. Potential Income Implications Although Medicaid typically does not consider reverse mortgage proceeds as income for eligibility purposes, it may treat any interest or fees accrued on the reverse mortgage loan as income. It's essential to understand that this income determination can vary based on state regulations. Medicaid eligibility may be impacted for that month when interest and fees are treated as income during the month they are received. Estate recovery. Another aspect to consider is the potential impact of a reverse mortgage on Medicaid estate recovery. Medicaid estate recovery is a process through which the state seeks reimbursement for long-term care expenses paid on behalf of a Medicaid recipient after their passing. In some cases, the home with a reverse mortgage may be subject to estate recovery, and the proceeds from the sale of the home would go towards reimbursing Medicaid for the care provided. Give us a like, hit that follow button, and share this video with your friends and family. Stay tuned for more tips on reverse mortgages and how they can work for you.